Some are calling it a war within the Democratic Party. Progressives and establishment candidates are squaring off at the polls in the governor's race in Maryland, where two frontrunners for the Democratic nomination have emerged from a crowded field. Former NAACP head Ben Jealous, who's backed by the likes of Senator Bernie Sanders, and Rashern Baker, the Prince George's County executive who's received numerous endorsements from Maryland's Democratic establishment, likes of Senator Chris Van Hollen and former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley. Those endorsements, along with having uh, Governor Martin O'Malley campaigning with me, tomorrow on uh, Saturday I'll be campaigning with Steny Hoyer. Hoyer was the Maryland congressman who was caught on tape telling a progressive challenger to bow out of a primary because his opponent was the party favorite. You would like me to get out of the race. You keep saying I would like you to get out. And of course that's, that's correct. But for his part at a campaign meet and greet just days before the election, Baker explicitly rejected the notion that he's the establishment pick. I hear that a lot. You know, isn't this really about, you know, the Bernie Sanders wing of the party and those who are the establishment? But this isn't a campaign about progressive and establishment. It's really about, what it boils down to, is about record versus rhetoric. Record versus rhetoric. It's one thing to talk about creating jobs. It is another to actually create the fastest growing economy in the state of Maryland so people actually have a job that they can pay their rent and their mortgage. That is what we have done. Meanwhile, Jealous' highest profile endorsement is Sanders, who ran a historic presidential run in 2016 and helped turn out hundreds to a campaign event in Silver Spring earlier in the week. And let us all be very clear and be very realistic and understand that Ben is engaged in a very, very tough election. He is taking on the entire establishment of the state. And the likelihood is that on election night, the results are going to be very close. Jealous has ambitious plans like expanding Medicare for all Maryland residents and for the state to offer opportunities for jobs to people that the private sector won't. We've got to start investing in what we want rather than what we fear. We need to start investing in actually solving the problem rather than paying for it on the back end. Baker offers a more moderate vision, a promise to lower skyrocketing insurance premiums, along with tax breaks and other incentives to spur economic development. Whether it's a, um, improving health care for citizens, if you look at the record that I have in Prince George's County, we've done that. We've cut the uninsured rate by half. If you're talking about raising the minimum wage, we've actually raised it to the highest level in the state, and we can do it at the state level. If you're talking about creating jobs, there's nothing more progressive than people being able to pay their mortgage, pay their rent. We're the fastest growing economy. In the days leading up to the election, we spoke to the candidates and their supporters. And I'm an educator, and he wants to increase uh, pay for educators by about 30 percent. So I support that. Uh, he wants to end mass incarceration. You know, that just leads to the marginalization of minorities. So I definitely support that. And then he also wants to end the student debt crisis. Here's a guy that's been running Prince George's County, right? And if you've seen what's going on down there, I mean, they've done a fantastic job. They're moving in the right direction. If we can do for Maryland what he's done for Prince George's County, I think we're going to be in good shape. Healthcare, heavily subsidized public university, $7 a day daycare, um, making their government work really hard with their tax dollars. So, you know, critics say, how is, how is Jealous going to pay for all this stuff in Maryland? We can use our tax dollars a lot better than we currently do. Uh, the, there's a lot of inefficiencies with the way our programming works, um, and also just some areas of higher taxation. I think the biggest issues are the community, bringing the communities together, the crime in Maryland, bringing it to schools, and just keeping everyone on one accord. Um, I just believe he has those same goals that I'm looking for for my community and for the state of Maryland. And so um, Ben Jealous supports things like Medicare for All. Um, he wants to, part of his platform I thought was interesting was that a jobs program for people that can't get jobs in the private sector, the public sector would employ those people. How do you th react to those kind of ideas where like the public sector is stepping in a lot? 
Well, I really didn't consider that. I didn't even hear him say that, so I don't know. I haven't thought about it because I didn't. I haven't heard that so far. That's the first of me hearing of this. Medicare for all. We really feel very strongly about and would like to see that implemented right away. Jealous argues his progressive vision will offer the best shot to unseat incumbent Republican Governor Larry Hogan, who remains popular even among some Democrats. The way that we're going to beat him is not tacking to the right. The way that we're going to beat him is by running towards the people. Solving the opiate crisis, that's not a partisan issue, it's a people issue. Solving the health care crisis, same. Solving the education crisis, same. And you will find that when we win, it'll be because we turned out more Democrats. We also attracted more independents. And yes, we even flipped a couple of Republicans. While Baker says his track record as PG County Executive makes him the best bet. Talking about the record as County Executive where we've done these things that people are talking about. Expanded all day pre-K into an area that didn't have it. Uh, improved our school system so we saw dropout rates uh, decrease and truancy rate decrease and actually graduation rates go up. So I think those are the things that are going to be able to take on and win in the, uh, in the fall. However, the union that represents the county's teachers voted to endorse Jealous instead of Baker. A large margin, I understand. Yeah. So, so there's a lot of stuff going on in uh, PG County, and we're certain Baker, he has a lot to do with that. Well, I think, I guess, as they say, the proof is in the pudding. Test scores are up. Students are doing better in Prince George's County. That's, in the end, what really matters is, is performance. And again, so with be in education or in other areas, I think Prince George's County is, is doing, has done great under his leadership. So I have great respect for Ben Jealous and the positions he's advocating for. Um, and certainly either of them would be an excellent nominee. But, I, but again, I think it comes down to experience, track record, and uh, you know, going in, in running for governor, I think it's, it's so important to say that someone has significant executive experience. We'll be tracking both campaigns until Election Day on June 26. Stay tuned to TRNN.com. In Baltimore, this is Jessel Knorr.